Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you. PPV, live this motherfucker with that nigga. Wise, nigga. Wisdom, nigga, in this motherfucker. What's good, dog? Ain't shit, man. You know, same shit, different toilet, man. Out the same gate. shit, different toilet. Out the gate, where the fuck you from, nigga? PPV, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Baltimore, man. I'm from Baltimore. I'm 410. You already know West Baltimore. But you already know I fuck with Lake City, too, man. I got rep 717 as well. And, and I rep Lake City as well. My second home. Okay, okay, so we're going to talk about that, you know what I'm saying, you, so you being from Baltimore, you know what I mean, because I got a lot of solid niggas that I know from body, uh, body more murder land, nigga, you know what I'm saying, so you being from uh, Baltimore, you know what I'm saying, you from the west side, right, like you said, yeah. out the gate, out the gate, so you come out the west side of Baltimore, you know what I'm saying, so um, um, how did you come up rapping though, my dog? Yo, some real shit, my nigga is crazy, right? Cause, cause niggas used to go from school to school and shit. Like, I started rapping in school for real, for at the lunchroom. You know how niggas were doing the grind and beating yeah. and all that shit? Yeah, we were beating on the table, you know nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So niggas was rapping, and I was nice. Like, I just started trying that shit, nigga, and I was naturally good at this shit. So, started doing the music shit or whatever. But then I seen niggas battling, like, so I'm not word, I can do this shit, you know what I'm saying? So we used to go to school to school, we used to go to mall, mall, block to block. We used to just battle, my nigga, and then, you know what I'm saying? And then I got into my first battle on cameras in, I think, 06 against the nigga. Okay, Chief. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me slow you down. Let me slow you down, 10 speed. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, let me slow you down, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, I, we, we're gonna talk about 06, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, I do this, you know what I mean? So, you came up with that, you know what I mean? Was there any, uh, uh, did you rap before you started battle rapping? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was doing music first, for yes, sure. Sir. I was doing music, and just writing 16s and just spitting my shit. Okay, so what year was this that you uh really started to be uh spitting sixteens, you know what I mean? Not battle rap bars, but just bars. Oh shit, man. I wanna say it's probably like two thousand three, two thousand four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you've been out here for a little minute rapping, huh? Yeah, hell yeah, it's my shit, man. Fuck with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Out the gate, out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you was making music. Did you have any CDs in Baltimore? Nah, bro, on some real shit. Niggas used to just call shit, man. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I, well, I guess I did have CDs, but you know, back in the day, I was a little older. I'm, I'm 33 years old, you feel me? So, so, so we were burning that shit on CDs and passing shit and shit like Fuck that. Fuck yeah, nigga, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm I, pushing I 40, nigga. Days, so I'm from that too. I'm pushing 40, nigga. Yeah. On my mama, nigga. <laughs> like, that was the error. You put your name on the CD and you pass that motherfucker out. Pass that shit out. They keep walking around. Pass that shit out. <laughs> you already. Out the gate. Out the gate. So, uh, was, was it more song based? With you, was it a solo CD? I mean, solo songs or, or was it a, a collective of guys? You know what I mean? Because when oh, I was recording, it, yeah, yeah, it was always a collective. It was me and my mans. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you came up like that. It was, yeah, it was me and my man Flames, my homegirl Trini. I still, uh, like, like if you watch my battles and shit, you still see Flames around. That's my man from the hood, you feel me? Love. It's me, Flames, Trinity, Chief, Mac. It was, it was a bunch of niggas from around my way that, you know what I'm saying, we just could rap a little bit. So we get up and get in the studio. We made our own little studio and shit. <laughs> Same <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, bro, we had the mic on the ceiling fan, nigga. On my mama, we did. <laughs> we we ain't had that set up, bro. We had the mic on the ceiling fan, bro. You know what I mean? That shit hang, and it was like, nigga, it was like Michael Buffer. You know what I mean? You know, when Michael Buffer and Nas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know when the, the mic is right there. It's no stand. It's like we try to recreate that. So you coming up with a collective of niggas? Did you have an influence? Cause you being from Baltimore, you being from the, the far east coast, the east coast, east coast. You know what I mean? Did you have any lyrical influences? Oh hell yeah, nigga! I had motherfucking Big L with my man. Ooh, Big L was punches. To to. R.I.P. Nigga. R.I.P. to my nigga. Cause honestly, bro, he is the best. Puncher in the world. If they took him oh. away way too early, yo, if he was here, all niggas would be talking about with Alpha Bro. But I fuck with Big L, Diddy Z, Nas, 
I'm a fan of hip hop, man. So at the end of the day, I don't listen to all this new shit. I just listen. I still listen to X, J. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? The shit that influences you, bro. You know what I mean? Because like, I'm in my spare room, bro. I got a fucking Source Magazine DMX uh, date May 2006. Niggas can Google it. You know what I mean? I'm from that era, too. You know what I mean? I'm from the Source. I'm from every type of media out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas putting some real shit out, and it was real rap at the time. Because I'm with you. Like, I don't listen to this shit nowadays. You know what I mean? But I'm just still a fan of the old days. So you still Absolutely. listen to that old shit, right? Still listen to that old shit, nigga. You never had no disrespect to what niggas like, but you won't hear no dub baby. You know what I'm saying? You won't even hear baby from Wayne and them. You ain't no baby in my car, my nigga. You, you, you gotta turn that shit off. <laughs> you gotta turn that shit off, bro. You, you, you can't have a listen to that shit. Yeah, yeah, if you, you pass a nigga the ox cord and he put that shit on, you snatching that shit straight out his phone. Snatch that shit right back, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. But yeah. nah, but the real shit, though, I don't be around niggas that listen to that type of music anyway because I, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, uh, like, all my niggas on the same type of shit I'm on for the most part. So we don't be listening to that shit, man. Out the gate, out the gate. So, uh, you was rapping, you know what I'm saying? You had a collective of uh, people, you know what I mean? Shout out to Shorty. You know, what was Shorty name of your group? Because it wasn't all niggas. You said one girl name. Uh, no, uh, oh yeah, it was my whole girl Trinity. Trinity. Man, yeah. to her, man. Out the gate, out the gate. You know what I'm saying? I pay attention to everything, nigga. Attention to detail, Jack, PBV. You know what I'm saying? So, you had a collective of people, you know what I'm saying? You had a female in your group. So, what made you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So it was still coming from the battle rap shit, or did he transition to the battle rap shit? The the uh, tabletops niggas beating on the table. Yeah, it transitioned, man. Cause at gotcha. first I, I just wanted to be a rapper, nigga. I, I wanted to be like Jay Z. You feel me? I, I wanted to be a rapper. I wasn't thinking about battle rap. Then I started 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 thinking about battle rap. And spit that 16, and he spit his 16 back, and they like, oh no, nah, his shit better than your shit. And you yes. like, hold up. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's before and, and, the tailor made era. Rap. I'm asking, is that before the tailor made era? Like, what you is in to me is the tailor made era. Like, this bullet has your name on it. I'm writing this round for you. Back in the day, it was, nah, nigga, I can rap better than you. I'm gonna spit my verse, you spit your verse. It's not tailor made towards that person. You come from that? Oh yeah, hell yeah, nigga. Yes, I, I come from the not tailor made shit. I come from the not tailor made yes, shit. Sir. Yeah. Yes. I was trying to battle rapping, at, like, like I was spitting my sixteens against nigga sixteens. Yeah. Before sh I ever seen a Smack DVD, like mm. you know what I'm saying, like before I ever even, before I even ever seen one. Like, when I seen that shit, now that's what made me say, oh, sh I can write this about you. Oh, oh, oh let's do it like <laughs> that. Then. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go there. Let's go there. Let's, let's go there. Let's go there, good brother. Uh, goddamn, what was your first Smack DVD that you seen? Or your Smurf? Or your uh, first? Uh, I don't know. Cause people say Smack DVD, but they only seen the battle. Like, did you actually watch the Smack DVD? Cause I have all my Smack DVDs. So that's uh. Oh shit, man. We well, we watched the whole thing back in the day. Now I ain't gonna hold you. The only thing that still stands out in my mind is the battles, but. We watched the whole thing, man. We used to skip school, man, put that shit on, smoke, watch that shit, you know what I'm saying? But the battles, the one that stood out to me, the first one was Murder, Mook, and Paul Yard. Yeah, I came from front. That's why I fuck with Mook. I don't think he's like the best in the world and shit. R.P. Paul Yard. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with them because that's what made me say, yo, this shit is dope, yo. What the fuck is this? Like, okay, let me ask you a couple questions about that because R.P. Party Artie. You know what I mean? Because uh, that's when Mook is second battle on Smack. Because first it was uh, J Mills. You know what I mean? That's Smack DVD 4. And then the next one. I, I went think, back and saw J Mills after that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just speaking in order, brother. You know what I mean? Because I got the actual DVDs. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I'm just old school Smack DVD, dog. You know what I mean? So, Smack DVD 4 it was J Mills. Smack DVD 6 was, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. That was him versus Party Artie. So, um, what was it about that battle? Or was that the first battle you seen that made you want to uh, die That's in? just the first battle that... That's just the first battle I seen, bro. I that's think it. that's the first battle I ever seen in my whole life. And I was like, yo, and he, but, but like me being me around my niggas, like, yo, I'm, I'm better than that nigga. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. on that type of shit. Like, oh, I can do that shit too. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that's how it was. And, 
Out the gate. So let me ask you this, bro. Who won that battle in your opinion, bro? I think Party Only won. won yes, sir. My nigga. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. When I was in Rikers, you was in diapers. I was in ciphers, rhyming with lifers. You was at home, trying to get tighter, rhyming off beats. I was popping off heat. Nick, come on, man. Party was... <laughs> But, but you also gotta realize that Murder Mook was kinda young, yeah? He was yeah, yeah. a grown ass man. Yeah, and exactly. Man, so he but, couldn't talk the way Party could talk to him, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and bro, that is all facts, but he lost, nigga. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? If you wrong. sign up to fight wrong. a grown man, <laughs> hey. You sign up to fight a grown man, like, you know what I mean? But hey, guess what? Hey, guess what that hey. did for Mook? It made Mook, Mook the GOAT now, right? People say. No, hell no, Mook ain't the GOAT. Um, people say, I see, I said people say Mook is the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? I said Mook is the GOAT. Yeah. Then I said people say. You know what I mean? I clarified myself, Jack. You know what I'm saying? But people think that. I feel as though, I feel as though he's a forefather, but the GOAT, nah, man. You got to talk about T-Rock when you the GOAT. You got to talk about Arsenal. Ah, oh, I forgot you from, you from Maryland. Yeah, yeah. T-Rock, okay. No, I said <laughs> We gonna talk about rock. We gonna talk about rock. It ain't. We gonna talk about rock, baby boy. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying that. I'm not saying that for that reason. But I really think rock is go. I like like my nigga rock clips. Even though clips fell off a little bit, clips has pushed this whole culture forward for so long. They forget about clips though. Nah, nah, for real. For real. Fucking up a little bit. But no, no, I feel like. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. So one thing I will say about clips, good brother, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know what I mean? We can agree to disagree. We're going to move on talking about you, though. You know what I mean? One thing that clips did for Battle Rap is um, two things. You know what I mean? He brought, uh, it, he made it uh, cooler to have the improv, uh, the improv, the improvise, you know what I mean? The freestyle. And then he made it cool, like, man, I ain't got a third round. It's a lot of people that ain't got no rounds, and that, I feel like that come from Clips. Clips kind of like, I ain't got a third for this nigga, but shit, I could beat him if I want to. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I, I, I just feel like that. You know what I'm saying? But let's focus on you, good brother. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, man. Uh, oh, man. wise, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? When was your first on camera battle? My first on, oh, all right, all right. My first on camera battle that you won't be able to find no more. Shit. Because I can't find it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, bro, it was back in 05, 06. It was like, I've been doing this shit for a little minute. <laughs> Talk but, shit. but it was, uh, it, it was this boy named, named A. West, uh, out in York, PA. Uh, he locked up right now. Free him, man. He'll call oh, yeah. Free the but, guys. Um, Free the guys. But yeah, uh, I battled him. I like that shit. That's my first one. Then I battled Chuck Book. Which is also a gay Hey, shout out to my nigga Chuck thing. Book, nigga. Yeah. Chuck, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with Chuck. Pause. Yeah, that's my nigga. That's my nigga. Chuck's the first nigga on camera right now that you can find my first battle. That was like 06, 07. What league? Uh, focus on your crown battle league. Okay, okay. And uh, where's that? Uh, where's that at? It's uh, Central Pennsylvania. Like, they throw events all through, like, York, Lancaster. Different areas of Central Pennsylvania. Okay, so they just they they, they movers and shakers in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah got yeah, you. Much. Got you. So how did that battle go? Uh, yeah, Chuck, shout out to Chuck, man. I, I feel as though I got the thirty, but we bet though we bet five hundred, and I ended up winning the money. So I, I won the judges, so I won that battle. Okay. Some people say you won, some people say three up. Okay, so how did that do for yo? Uh, how did that do for you? For you, you know what I mean. Like nigga, I got a thirty and I won money. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people can be uh, their confidence can they can be overconfident at a time. Could they? Oh, nigga, I won. Nigga, I'm better than these niggas just from one win. Like, how did that win make you feel? At that time, bro, I didn't really give a shit. I wasn't really. I wasn't a battle rapper. It was yes, sir. Just something I did for fun. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't care about that shit. Okay. <laughs> I just won the bread. I went to my man hood, won his bread on his basketball court, and got the fuck out of there. Like, yeah, that's all that was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Book, though. That's my man. Nah, nah, shout to Book. Shout to Chuck Book. You know what I'm saying? So, um, because that always reminded me of um, 
Biggie always said something, you know what I mean? When he was in interviews, like, motherfuckers listen to his demos. He ain't have a deal yet, you know what I mean? It was like, man, there ain't no money behind this shit, you know what I mean? I really don't care. But since you want a pot, you still didn't care. Like, it's some money in this. Like, dog, like, you ain't, you didn't see that your talent can get you money then? Nah, bro, I honestly didn't, bro. I was really, like, I was running around, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really worried about rapping, bro. I was, I was worried about other shit, you feel me? Man, what's understood ain't got to be explained. Honestly, God, truth, my nigga. Honestly, God, truth. I ain't start caring about battle rap until last year, man. And to really, like, until last year. Okay. That's what I seen. Okay, I, I can do something with this. Okay, so you've been working this whole time, you know what I mean? And your first battle rap was when, again? Uh, 2006. Okay, 06. And you telling me 2020, nigga. <laughs> That's when you started to see it could do something for you. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, yeah, because I, I would only battle like once a year, once every two years. I go to jail. I come home two years later. Like, I wasn't a battle rapper, bro. Gotcha, I, just, gotcha, I gotcha. did it because I could, you feel me? Got you, got you. So you was in and out, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I know yeah, the science. I, I, I got you. So what you was focused on wasn't battle rap. You was focused on getting some money, in a sense. Well, yeah, I was just focused on my, my life. Battle rap really wasn't bringing me nothing exactly. but fun. Like, it was just fun. Like, like seeing my niggas battle rap, going to different events. That shit was cool, but as far as a career, I ain't see no money in it. So I was just like, you know. Exactly. So so my biggie scenario stands true, nigga. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Nigga want no money in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Motherfucker ain't gonna yeah. ain't nobody gonna focus on doing something taking time out their life if no money is gonna put in their pocket at the end. So I understand, bro. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you started taking it serious last year, so what made you take it serious last year? Cause I was, uh, a lot of the niggas that like, like Peanut, uh, Ryder. Uh, oh, uh, Ryder, yo, boy. Yeah, that's my shout, man. Shout out to yo, yeah. yo, boy. Yeah, that's my little yo, dog. Boy. Yeah. Now, Love. So like, hey, congratulations, bro. Yeah. That's that's hard for a black man to do, brother. Congratulations. Oh yeah, I appreciate that, bro. So so I wanted to move them closer. You feel me? I wanted to move them closer to my family and shit because I was in Cali for my own reasons and shit. So I moved them closer to home and I'm back now. So I'm like, right, I had a couple. My first battle was against Ray Cobain in the pit. Then Lex, and then I did the Crucible shit. How that Lex? He ain't picked me for the Crucible, but he gave me a plate on our battle. I went over there on our battle. Then uh, I ran across CeeLo in, in Rio. Shout out to my man Rio, 28 grand. Hell uh, yeah. Grand. That's my dog. He, That's my yo, nigga, bro. Shit. Yo, yo, believe it or not, bro, on some real shit, That's the, he's the reason why I'm back on the Gates of the Garden. Wow. He's the sole reason. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, he's the sole reason because he came to my, uh, the I Battle event and me and him was outside sparring. And he was like, yo, you fucking shit. And I'm like, yeah, hey, bro, you did it too. So CeeLo was in the car. Now, mind you, I told you I, I wasn't really doing great as far as battle rap uh, uh, business and shit. Like, I had already been booked on Gate to the Garden for the second card, and I, something happened, I didn't make it. So Dre wasn't fucking with me. He was like, nah, I gave you a shot, boom, pretty much. Like, it's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, fuck. But then, he closed the gates so, on so your ass. He, yeah, he closed the gates on my ass. So all these years later, I see all our 28 grams. And then I, well, not all these years later, because it's only three years. Three years later, I see all my 28 grams in front of the uh, eye battle shit. And then I smoked the nigga KT Stacks over there with eye battle. And then all I got me a plate on uh on, on the gates against Sunny Cell. I got him the fuck out of there. And then I'm going to Hold on, first, man, first, hold I on. Thought, not to cut you off, but to cut you off. Shout out to Sunny Cell, Detroit, Midwest. You got him out of here, bro. I got, bro, you ain't seen that battle, bro? No, sir. I have not, bro. I ain't gonna oh lie to God, you. Bro, bro, bro. 
Bro, that was my gate debut, bro. You gotta go back and watch that. I, I definitely I will. I'm not gonna lie to you on camera either, brother. <laughs> I'm not. Yo, 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 my nigga, look, I'm gonna tell you this. Is it, like, I'm one of them niggas, I, I read comments. I don't care how niggas feel about reading comments because they're genuine people that don't know you. So they don't got no reason to. The, the be on some fuck like, shit, like, yeah. Like they, yeah, they just tell you how they feel. My nigga, 140 something comments. I got 142 of them out of 143. That's dope, bro. That's dope. Yeah, yeah but that's so, dope. So I cooked him. I got him, got him the fuck out of there. Yes, sir. And then, um, and then I had uh, Elijah Street. Well, it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be K Jack. Shout out to K Jack. I fuck with him, but he backed out on me three days before the battle. Mm. So I wanted to get on this card. So and Elijah Street got backed out by Haitian. Haitian backed out on him and shit. Mm. So Elijah Strait and me, Elijah Strait and me took a, a three day battle and he cooked me, bro. I'm the reason wow. why he's on URL right now. Oh, let's he talk about me. that. Can, let me talk let me let me stop you right there right there, bro, cause the fact that niggas take a L and admit it, I got to salute you, bro. Nobody loses in battle rap, bro. Everybody wins. No, I think I got cooked. I think that, 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 that's one of the L's you cook at the base. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I don't make no excuses. I don't make no excuses. I was stumbling, bumming. I, I never did three days before. Shit, I never mm -hmm. even did a week before. So mm -hmm. three days was hard for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? But he cooked me, bro. He was crisp. He cooked me. Drugs in them called P while he was cooking me. Bam, he got a crucible shot the next day. That's how that shit happened. Ah, that's, I know that made you feel a way. Yeah, that, that's why I hollered at Drake, bro. I want a name, bro. Fuck this shit. I got to get back on track. So, <laughs> okay, so there it is. Hold on. Let's let's go there. Let's go there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Elijah Straight made you see straight to nigga. Hey, 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 man. Like, man, because he's a peer to you, right? Yeah, hell yeah, fuck Elijah. That's what I'm saying. He's a peer, so you wanted somebody above yo. You know what I mean? You wanted a name, name. You know what I mean? So you willing to pay for that because you lost your peer? Masking. Nah, it's yo, it's just because I was on a good run, bro. I, I was on a run. I ain't lose. But listen, right. I'm 20 something battles in all the time. I think I'm 20 battles in and all that time. I've only lost to Elijah straight, clearly. And that mm -hmm. shit did me so, it did something to me, bro. So then I said, all right, boom, we, we, we booked Dot. I knew I was going to cook Dot. That was an easy comeback for me. But he backed out a week before the battle. So Bill collected, shout out to Bill, big gatekeeper Bill. He was like, I'll do this shit. Shout out to gatekeeper Bill. Bill. Down there. Shout, uh, yeah, shout out to gatekeeper Bill, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then Bill, and then Bill hopped on there and, you know, he gave me a performance that was masterful, bro. And I gave him a great performance back. Some people say I won, some people say he won. That's the only name that I feel as though has been debatable with me and Bill Collector. I think I got EG clearly, and I think I got Rock clearly. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to understand the science of your come up. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Uh, definitely on the gates. You know what I mean? So after that, what happened? So after Bill, I did good against Bill. I seen BG out in the chat and was like, yo, it's debut something, something. So I said, yo, 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 Dre, you think I'm ready for that shot? Dre was like, man, listen, you did good against Bill. You got to step it up against BG, though. I was like, man, let me get that. So we set that up. I and then I performed against BG. You know what I'm saying? I did well against BG. The whole building pretty much said I want when I left that building as well. So then, I hit uh, Dre and was like, yo, my nigga, because I seen Rock talking that crazy shit on that shit, and I was like, yo, yo, bro, you think we could uh, get Rock? He was like, yo, Rock ain't going to take you. I was like, what you mean? He was like, Rock already said the certain people he had taken and shit, and you wasn't one of them. And I was like, all right, boom. So then he hit me back like, yo, I rethought the Rock. He said he'd take the battle. I said, word. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, bro. Because, bro, nah, nah, that's dope. That's dope. Because at first he didn't yeah. want to fuck with you, but then he wanted to fuck with yeah. you. Did you ask the question of like why he wanted to fuck with you? What battle did he see? It was something he seen that made him want to like, you know what? Fuck it. Yo, you know the crazy thing is, bro. Rock has been to every one of my gates of the garden battles, bro, and he was oh. at two of my battles. 
Nah, so that's maybe dope. Maybe it's just something he's seen. Yeah. And then I'm from Baltimore, boy. He's from Maryland, and maybe he just wanted to give me a shot. I don't know what it was, but I I mean, it. that's only, like, bro, not saying it's only right, because y'all f- both from Maryland, you know what I mean? But, nigga, it's only right, bro. You got to fuck with your own people, bro. You have to. You know what I mean? There's so many niggas from Indiana, bro, but, like, I'm not hip to. But, nigga, I got to fuck with my own. You know what I mean? Charity starts at home. This spreads abroad. You got to fuck with your own people. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not saying that's the well, reason I mean, I, he did that. I'm not saying that. But I just know the reason why I do shit. If you from my town, bro, if you any fucking corner of Indiana, I'm fucking with you. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck where you from. You know what I mean? But you from Maryland. You from Maryland. You know what I mean? So... You you brought that point up. So do you really think that was a point that he battled you, or he went back and remembered who you were? I mean, because you know niggas don't be paying attention to niggas sometimes. Like, what do you think the reason that he uh, uh, it is? It wasn't the money. He don't need it. But damn sure wasn't the money because he could get money anyway. Anyway, my mom. Like, no, bro, bro. Bro, honestly, I just think it's a collective of all the things. I'm on the gates. He's been wanting to come on the gates. But you know how he like bad like bad dudes was the top nigga over there on bullpen, right? Yeah, yeah. He wasn't John John, John but but, yes, but like I'm not Dre Dennis. I'm not saying I'm Dre Dennis, but I'm saying I'm the bad like maybe I'm like the bad news now over there. You feel me? Ah, oh, the nigga the niggas gotta see. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, he battled yeah, C three and C three was one of the top women at the time over there. Uh-huh, he, like, like, you feel C3. me? Like when he, he battled Arsenal, Arsenal was the main nigga on that league. So when he goes to another league. He wants to be on. I think it just has to be someone that motivates him. I think he might have seen me, and I might have motivated him. That's all. Like, and that's dope, bro. Cause um, you, you nigga, you nigga, nigga, you dope, bro. Let's go back to me with my goddamn bag when I was talking on the goddamn blog. You dope, bro. You know what I mean? Your setups and your schemes. You know what I mean? You think like it was just more of how you rap. It's like I can give him a fight. I mean, I, I honestly feel as though this is the only reason why not rock. Rock is amazing. I'm talking about a lot of these guys is who they are is because they're on the stage that they're on. If you put me on URL, I'm going to have the same exact reaction that they get. It's, 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 it's the stage, bro. Niggas want you on caffeine right now. Niggas saying, man, put that nigga. I seen the comment, dog. Niggas <laughs> want you on caffeine, Jack. Like, dog, no, that's... And bro, oh. How'd that make you feel when somebody said something like that? You know what I'm saying? Before we break down this uh, Tay Rock versus you battle. You know what I mean? How'd that make you feel? It made me feel better coming from Lex. Because Lex, he's a hard person to impress, bro. Like, he he keeps it 100. And for for him to get publicly say that, for Chris unbiased to get underneath of it, Mm -hmm. for Piper Boy to retweet my shit, it's like, that's, that's dope, man. That's dope. Yeah, you on your way, Jack. You on your way. So, you versus uh, Tay Rock. Let's let's talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? You bopped it off. You know what I mean? So, um, how was you feeling about uh, uh, your crowd reaction to your material? Because you write for crowd reactions. So, how you feel the crowd was reacting to your shit and your material? I mean, at first, I feel as though you got to fight. When you stand in front of DJ, when you stand in front of Tay Rock, they, you got to earn your respect. Cause their, their aura don't allow you to spit no bullshit because you know they're not going to come with no bullshit. Yes, sir. You feel me? So I feel as though at first they was feeling me out. I, I, my first game, I feel as though it was one of my best ones. But they were still feeling me out like, all right, that's, all right, nigga, keep going real quick. Keep going real quick. But then when I got to the second one, the Singapore, they're like, all right, this nigga real. I'm going to give him some love. And from there, I ran with it. I just ran with that shit. <laughs> hey, bro, can, let me uh, talk about what I talk about your schemes, bro. It's like, oh, you know what I mean? Though this nigga can scheme. You know what I'm saying? But the way you scheme, it ain't what you say is how you say it. The way you scheme, it ain't how you scheme, it's the way you scheme it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you know what I mean? Because you will just get into it so effortlessly. 
coming from a punchline and then you get into a scheme you know what i mean it's just the same cadence you never broke cadence you know what i mean like how you rapping you know what cadence is you know what i'm saying you a rapper you know what i mean it's like yo this nigga is dope i like how he transfer from uh punching to scheming you know what i mean that was dope. Appreciate you know? that, bro. No, bro, it, bro, it's real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, this is my first time seeing you with Verse Tay Rock. That's when it's like, you ain't never, no, I didn't see none of your battles, Jock. Right? <laughs> this was the one. <laughs> This was the <laughs> one. Well, I, I can't put this is my best performance. So if you go back and look at other shit, I'm always dope, but this I, is definitely my best performance. I definitely so, yeah. will, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because you definitely impressed me. It was like, yo, because I feel like, um, who you feel like won this battle? Let me ask you this. I feel like, okay, I feel like, well, I got it on camera. I got the whole battle too. Right? So, on camera, it's closer than it was in the building. In the building, not, not a soul but Tay Rock left feeling like he won. Not a soul felt like he won. But, on camera, I like him more on camera. I loved him in the building, but on camera, he's very dope when you listen to what he's saying. But I, my reactions were so much bigger than his. I kind of, the was, crowd was just with me. Like, that's you feel fact. me? The crowd was with me, so. That's a fact. I cannot disagree with you on that. You know what I mean? Because you had the go room. first. You yeah. had the room. Yeah. <laughs> and if you would have went yeah, second, right. do you think it would have been different? I feel as though I, it would have took me longer to get the love I got, but I feel as though I still I feel as though the, the way I ended it would have took it no matter how you flipped it. The way I ended it, my from the clothes hangers, hook up top shit, all the way to the broad day sleeping shit, it was no coming back from that for anybody I feel as though. You know what I'm saying? That's no, how I, I felt. Out the gate. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking you, bro. I ain't talking about what I said. Niggas got to check my vlog for that. You know what I mean? But no, you nigga, what? No, I respect you. Bro, listen. Your opinion. Yo, listen, bro. I agree with you, too. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the way you broke it down is perfect from a nigga who... That's the best way anyone could break it down saying Tay Rock won. And I respect that shit. And I believe you feel that way. And I respect it, my nigga. And uh, you still gave me mad love. So I was like, what can I say? What can I say what the man really feels though Tay Rock won? I guess they said. Bro, you won, bro. It was them last three, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> you <laughs> won. And so he said... Man, when he hit them wide, them wide flip, because I don't know you, bro. If I would have been more accustomed to you, I'd have heard the wise flips. Maybe you'd have heard the wise flips before. I've never heard those. Like, that was. No, Rob, Rob was original, bro. The, 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 the only one that I kind of heard a couple times was being be, be smart choice ain't a wise decision. And then I heard the owl logo, but not the way he did it. He did this shit better than it was done before. Because I, I think DJ had an owl logo type shit. Mm. But I feel the rocks was better. And then, um. The rocks on the track, Jadakiss. And Jadakiss, oh, nigga, yeah. the locks. The nah, locks just listen, fucking listen. just fucked Elijah up. Straight, this set? Uh, Elijah Straight had a Jadakiss shit too, but Yo. I think rocks was a little doper. What, what, okay, so, um. Because we, we remember everybody we fought. You know what I mean? When he swung on you with that uh 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 that wise line uh Elijah Strait rather, what did he say? You know what I mean? Cause a punch is a punch. You know what I mean? How did he swing on you? Elijah Strait to me was my second. Well, I, I gotta say my third hardest opponent I've ever battled. I ain't gonna front because that nigga just kept punching. I felt as though Rock and Gigi, the star power, made them a little more difficult than Elijah, but the way Elijah was rapping, even if I wouldn't have been stumbling, I probably would have lost that round with three days prep, because my three days wasn't his three days. Like, you feel me? His three days prep is way better than my shit. Okay, so, so I, what did he that, say? What, like, I want to compare man, the nigga said it start and end with wise, like yesterday. He said his guy like, start and end with wise, like yesterday. He said uh, something about scaling up from the bottom like a mermaid. That shit went crazy. And, mm. uh, something oh, straight wheel like an alignment. Yo, he was, bro, yeah. Elijah Street was snapping, my nigga. He was snapping. I can't even hold you. That's dope. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So, um, can I ain't gonna hold you either, brother. You know what I'm saying? What else is working for you, good brother? Uh, I got a really, really, really big battle coming up in December that I cannot talk about. But 
Uh, it is on the caliber of Team Rock, and it's gonna be another movie. And when it drops, a lot of people will probably have me losing, like they had to lose to Team Rock. <laughs> no, seriously, bro, I'm 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 not going front. You know what I'm saying? But that's I love this shit. That's, that's why my think. slogan is this underdog shit. I've been I match underdog shit. You feel me? So. I got a battle coming up that everybody's gonna say I'm gonna lose in December. We having a big event in uh, December, and uh, I, I have uh, the two other opponents that. Oh shit! I'm getting out my car. My bad, brother. About the noise. I'm good. But, um, but yeah, I got another. I can't really talk about nothing I got coming up, but I got some shit coming up that when it drop, niggas is gonna fuck with. Out the gate, bro, because we see how you working, brother. You know what I'm saying? What's understood ain't got to be explained. You ain't got to explain shit. You know what I mean? Let these niggas see, you know what I'm saying, when the, when that flyer drop. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> are let these niggas say how the flyer drops. So, uh, PPV, lots of motherfucker, my good brother Wise, man. It's good and uh, nice meeting you, bro. I want to work with you in the future. So, uh, let these niggas know your socials and all that. My nigga, you can follow me at. On IG, a real underscore wise one W I S P W O N. On Twitter, wisdom underscore Coley. On Facebook, wisdom cook. Shout out to PPV, Ten Point Visuals, my man, Mr. Circle City man. You always get an interview from me, bro. You're the first person to holler at me, and I'm always gonna support and respect the shit you do, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Bro, I appreciate you, bro, for being dope. That's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? First Smack DVD, bro. Uh, motherfucking uh, P. Diddy when he was uh, 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 judging. You know what I mean? For uh, uh, goddamn uh, J. Mills and uh, Buddy. You know what I'm saying? His, he always said, my allegiance is to the hotness. Not well, No regions is to the hotness. My allegiance to the hotness. You a hot nigga, bro. Pause. You know what I mean? No I no police. That, you know what I mean? None of that. You know what I mean? You a dope nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I know, had to give it thing up. Is, bro, the, the, the thing that I think that's so bright for me, bro, is that I still got, I know I still got so much to learn, bro. And, and that's why I be battling these niggas because they teach me. Like, every time I battle Rock, I battle Gigi, I battle Bill, even a lot of the straight, like, them niggas be teaching me something. So every battle, I come out a different person. So the nigga you've seen against K-Rock is not the nigga you're going to see. <laughs> person I battle, I'm going to be way better than that. Yeah, like, yeah. poor niggas, like, oh, you to slow your shit down. Slow your shit down. So now I'm slowing my shit down. I need to say things with emphasis. So I'm saying certain things with emphasis. Well, I this shit down, I'm already beating top-tier talent. Wait until I master my shit. You a cold nigga, Jack. You know what I'm saying? PBV said that. You know what I'm saying? And I agree, bro. Like once you once you get on your shit, bro. You know what I mean? My leash to the hotness, bud. You know what I mean? Just keep being hot. And my leash is it's gonna be towards you. You hear me? Yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. You already know. Dang uh, here, vice versa. Out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Gates of the guard. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dre Dennis. Shout out to CeeLo. Shout out to CeeLo. Dre Dennis, right? Dre, shout out to Lo. Those the big homies of the gate shit and shout out all the gatekeepers. Shout out my man Kane. Shout out my man Bandit. Shout out my man R.I. Shout out Zay. Yeah, shout, shout out to my the, nigga R.I. Yeah, I mean, shout out all the vet gatekeepers. Like, you got the press, nigga. You got the homies, the bills, man. The, 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 the gate roster is ridiculous, man. And he's, shout out the new niggas like Marco Mazi. Like, there's a lot of niggas inside our little... Listen, bro, we about to shine, bro. Niggas, <laughs> yeah, and it's thing of y'all's. It's a thing of ours, nigga. Talk, nigga. <laughs> Out the Yo, get and listen, anybody I miss as far as the gatekeepers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't know it's not personal. That's just the first nigga that popped in my head, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, no charges to his head, charges to his heart. You know what I mean? Because he ain't thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? He's just talking, bro. Can't believe, we get so many gatekeepers, nigga. The fuck you talking about, <laughs> There's a lot of niggas in there, bro. There's a lot of niggas. But, but, you know, we all motivate each other. Like, we all bust it up for the most part. Ain't no problems for the most part with the niggas in the chat. It's like it's a family for real. Niggas do this shit together. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... Out the gate. Out the gate. So, PPV, lot of motherfucker with that nigga Wise, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Wisdom, any bitch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, him versus Tay Rock is dropping soon. Uh, uh, subscribe to uh, Gates of the Garden, you know what I mean? Um... That's that on that. PPV. We out this motherfucker. Pussy. Put your 3D glasses on then, pussy. Because you know we coming straight at you.